Okay, so I don't even know if I'm going to post this or not. Um, I don't know if it's just something about Leo season or something like that, that, but I'm feeling that people in this Leo season, they are really um, going hard with spell work. So I was doing like a little research because I'm not, um, I don't run to spells. Like the only spell work I know about is return to center, um, protection spells, healing spells. And that's all I really care about because I don't never feel like it's that serious where I have to do something to somebody like um, I'm gonna tell you what I found. And this is a book on Amazon. And in this book on Amazon, um, it's a dark magic witch book or whatever and stuff like that. Let's see if I can pull it up again. Yeah, here you go. And I just thought it was real interesting because you know, the person was selling the book on the premises of you know, you might have that ex that won't call you back. You know, you might have that friend who betrayed you. These are spells that you could do to basically fuck somebody's life up. So the spells in this book, the book is called uh, Spell Book of Wicked Witches. And these are the spells that they have in this book. Uh, dragon dreams to send nightmares, oppressing stress, hits to fill them with anxiety. Um, I'm not going to read the, the titles. I'm just going to read what they is. Uh, they have a spell to destroy confidence. They have a spell to inflame desire in somebody. So to make somebody else strongly desire you. They have spell for control, domination or for control. They have spells to dry off an interloper. Oh, I guess to like if there was a third party, your your boyfriend cheating and you want to drive off the third party. All of this shit is embedded in insecurity. You know, when I look at it, you know. Because you could just leave that motherfucker because if you're going to do it one time, you're going to continue to do it. Because that motherfucker going to continue to cheat on you. And why would you, like, the domination, these are for people who really want to control, dominate, and fuck up somebody's life. And the only people who really want to do that is extremely insecure people that don't have shit else to do you know like the motherfuckers that i'm aware of that has been doing spell work on me these are like some of the laziest motherfuckers i ever seen because you know before i knew what they was doing to me i was friends with them communicated with them even tried to do business with them but they didn't want to do it the right way. You know, they instead, they wanted to uh, take from me, take feed off of my light to control me, to control me in a sense of like they could have me do all the work and I just take care of them. You know, like, and it's fucked up, like it's crazy. Um, They also have to send bad luck to destroy a business and to cause financial difficulties. They have spell work for this. Uh, and then I'm looking at the reviews, right? And, you know, some people are just like, they just reading it for fun and stuff like that. But they like, you know, you never know. You might have that neighbor who disrespected you that ex-boyfriend who cheated on you so like you gonna you want to destroy that person's life because of that because what y'all got into like a little argument in the hallway or some shit 
uh, because that that ex didn't call you back, you feel like that's justified with your bitch ass. I can't fucking have no motherfucking respect for a motherfucker who even think like this. So just because you know, cause that Bobby motherfucker, the Leo dude, he was mad because I walked away from his toxic ass. And you know, it was never his attentions was never out of love or anything. Um, it was just because he's so wrapped up in his ego that he just couldn't even take the fact that somebody walked away from his bitch ass. You a bitch ass motherfucker, you know. You are like, uh, what's the word? What's the word, bitch? What's the motherfucking word? Pathetic. That's what the fuck you is. Um. Wow, bitch. Wow, bitch. So I'm just thinking like the people, the mindsets and the comments and stuff. I'm I'm confused at even why people even think that it's okay for this shit to exist. Now, um, this is not for protection. This is for destroying lies, right? This book solely is for destroying lies with spell work. Um And then when you go back over the spells, because, you know, I guess there are some situations like when somebody, because, you know, with the shit that has been done to me, I should be mad enough to buy this book and do this shit to others. But I'm not like all the shit that had happened to me and the shit that people had done to me. It doesn't make me feel like going to uh get revenge to the point that I'm going to do spell work no I'm gonna reverse that shit because that's the that's for my own protection um one person that I thought about revenge was my cousin uh just because how foul she did me right very foul and even with that, I didn't want to destroy her life. You get what I'm saying? Even though she was actively trying to destroy her minds, I wanted her to stop. I wanted her to stop calling my friends. I wanted her to stop spreading lies. I wanted her to stop harassing me through fake accounts. I wanted her to stop hacking into my shit. Yeah, I wanted her to stop that shit. But I didn't want to like, destroy her life I wanted to protect myself from her that's why I even got into reversal that's what pushed me into reversal candle magic um because there was a time in the midst of this that I was hit with something and I I seen her she went to a shop or something like that to do this um and I was starting to get sick it was working heavenly I I really felt like I was gonna lose my life or something it was working so well because at the time she went and did spell work on me after she had already turned people against me um she already had got people my family members calling me talking about jumping me I couldn't get no love, no understanding of nothing from my friends, my family, or anything. Like, she really stripped me away from, like, my family and my friends and stuff like that. So I was already in a dark place just because of that. And she ain't had no fucking reason to do that. She claimed that I talked about her first. But she know, she know that's not even the truth. She know it wasn't even like that. I, I really believe that. I believe that she know because I was always up front to her. I even told her that I was going to call auntie and talk to her. And she was like, no, don't do that. And I was like, why not? Because she was up here on the phone telling me that my auntie was talking mad shit about me. 
And I'm like, y'all finna call her and talk to her. And she was like, don't do that. Why not? Because she gonna know that I told you. And I was like, I, but does it matter? Like, on some real shit. If I come to somebody and tell them, like, yo, this person was talking shit about you. At that point that I told them, I'm not going to give a fuck if they go to that person and told that person that I told them. Because I already told them. I know that's, like, how people work. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm telling you, I'm trying to give you the heads up so you can handle it accordingly, however you choose to handle that shit. Okay? And if I decide to tell you, it's because I felt like it was right for you to know. the end everything that happened after that is it is what it is even if the person get mad at me before I even told you I already considered that shit that that motherfucker was gonna get mad at me I decided I didn't give a fuck because I still fucking told you not this bitch though that's how I know that you was being manipulative that's why I call auntie anyways and even when I call her and was trying to talk to her, I was not throwing you under the bus. I was so careful with my communication and with my words because I did not want people to be mad at you. I did not want that for you. I just wanted to understand why people are talking about me so negatively. And then when I called auntie, she told me that you was talking shit. Not only was you talking shit, but you talked shit about me my whole life. You made fun of me about the way I talk, the way I communicate, my personality. That's what she said. And I was like, mm. And even then, I was considering that, you know, it might not even been like that. It might not even been like that. Because people, they talk sometimes. They gossip and everything. You know, she might have said something, but it wasn't that serious to me. I don't know what the fuck happened when, when me and my auntie got off the phone. But I told my auntie, like, look, I'm just trying to make things right. I even apologize for some shit I ain't had no business apologizing for. I apologize if I hurt her feelings in any type of way. I apologize if I upset her in any type of way. Like, I just want things to be cool. And not only did she say that we was cool, but, you know, you should come over and visit. You, We should hang out sometimes. You know, we family. We need to get close and da 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 Get off the phone. I'm instantly feeling the energy motherfuckers talking and I knew motherfuckers was going to talk so I was kind of like ignoring it because I was like I, I know motherfuckers gonna talk but I ain't think it was gonna turn out like how it did And, you know, I think that all y'all motherfuckers watch me. Bobby, Stacy, Shant, James. The other motherfuckers died. And you know what? I think that y'all think I had something to do with it. Because I feel like people start looking at me like I'm witchy and I be casting spells and shit like that and da-da-da-da. And, you know, I ain't give a fuck about that. I ain't give a fuck about them thinking that I was witchy and shit like that. You know, matter of fact, I was like, well, maybe they will stop fucking with me if they were scared that I was going to do something. Maybe they will fuck stop fucking with me then. <sighs> so something happened. And I was getting real sick real fast. What was going on around that time? Let's get some clarity of why I was getting so sick.
And then come to later find out that this whole motherfucking time that all of this shit is happening, the Leo dude is fucking watching me. I, I'm thinking that he all moved on with his life, you know, honestly. Because I, when I walked away from him, I explained to him like, yo, you kind of toxic. So I got to move on with my life and stuff, but it ain't no hard feelings and everything. I wish you the best. Adios. I'm thinking that this motherfucker is moving on with his life. Like, he cute. You know, he could get females and stuff like that. Like, he ain't going to be tripping about me walking away and shit like that. But no. No, 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 no. The motherfucker been watching me the whole time and told me that he was watching me. And you know what? It, that story that you told me, because you made it seem like you had to almost like sell your soul or some shit because I put you in such a dark place because I chose to walk away from your toxic ass. Ooh. He told me, he told me this story about what he had to do or some shit like that. Ooh bruh please please move on but you fucked up ain't you see he on did some shit that got him fucked up why all because somebody walked away from his bitch ass and he couldn't handle it now if that shit ain't so fucking cowardly ass shit i don't know what the fuck is I don't know what the fuck is, nigga. You can't handle somebody walking away from you? And I had good reason to, because I was realizing how you play a whole lot of games and you with that fuck shit, like you childish. So I was like, I'm not fair deal with your ass no more. And then you turn around and actively try to destroy my life just because I walked away from his toxic ass. That shit is crazy. And, you know, I didn't call you a narc. You called yourself a narc. That let me know the way that you said it. Somebody called you a narc before. Probably a lot of people that dealt with your bitch ass. Because I was about to say something. He was like, what? You think I'm a narc? You think I'm a narc or something? Somebody must have called you that shit before. Because you know you're a motherfucking narc. But at one time, this motherfucker going to call me and tell me that he think he got mental issues. He think he bipolar. No, bitch. You just insecure and broken. No, I mean, you could be bipolar. I don't know. But he took that shit back. Because after some time, I was like, yo, maybe you is bipolar. <laughs> maybe you is bipolar or some shit but I think that at that time you was just feeling guilty for the shit that you had already did and you trying to justify it by giving yourself a mental illness so you don't have to deal or take accountability for the shit that you did that's how fucking fucked up you is Ooh, what was going on around that time that um i got sick what was happening why did i get sick and that's a lot of calls let's see what they say Yeah, like, what do y'all motherfuckers know? I'm really thinking that there is, like, a a group of people who go out here and they attack people with a certain vibration. I want to call these people light workers or something like that, but you, you let off something in your aura that alerts these people, and they come and attack you for that. Because they didn't want me to go through this spiritual awakening. And I was on the verge of it at the time that it was heavenly attacking me. At the time that 
uh, they was turning my family against me and my friends and stuff like that and playing games with me spiritually. They didn't want me to go through this spiritual awakening. So y'all must have knew that I was on my way to. And that intrigues me. It really do. Because it's like, yo, y'all know something that I don't know. Y'all aware of something before I had even reached it. So what is it? Like, was this from birth? Y'all motherfuckers been watching me? Like, what the fuck is it? Yeah, because I was on the verge of ascension at that fucking time. Oh. Look, so you did, you went to people who, you went to my cousin, because that would be fucking insane to me, yo. Like I've been, it been in, it been swimming around in my consciousness. Like I even have visuals of like y'all communicating and shit like that. But I was like, nah, I don't. Like it don't make sense to me. Like why would you go to my cousin? But you went to people. You went to people. Like it's a group of people, yo. Wow, bitch. See, y'all know something. You know, I'm thinking the time that I met the Leo dude, I think that he was on the hunt. He was on the hunt for uh, somebody to feed on in a spiritual way. And I think that your family is like involved in this shit. I think your family, because the fact that your sister just out of the blue mentioning I'm so mad. She was so mad at her baby daddy that she wanted to curse him. And I'm like, damn. Like, I didn't understand why it was that deep. And I was like, nah, just focus on yourself, girl. Get yourself together and everything like that. It ain't that deep. But the fact that she will even go there, it's like. And what y'all scared of? Because, you know. I'm am feeling fear at this moment from y'all. Like y'all are scared at this point. But why? Why are y'all so scared? And that TikTok. Did I get that card? Let's see. Mm. And y'all, I, I dead ass want to look up my own poetry and my writings and stuff because i'm thinking that you might be out there pretending to be me with my work with my creativity you know i'm really feeling like this motherfucker was taking my writings pretending that it was his and he was trying to do spell work so nobody could see me that i would be like invisible so that they will see him with my work. You a bitch ass motherfucker. This also gave me the sense that motherfuckers was keeping tabs. And it's so weird how y'all motherfuckers, like, because on some real shit, like, if a motherfucker was online talking mad shit about me claiming that I did some shit that and, and, I, and I felt like I didn't do it I'm gonna say some shit but the way that y'all so fucking quiet like tells me everything it tells me everything it tells me fucking everything y'all some ooh, y'all some bitches yeah you know something been coming up about my childhood There are parts of my childhood that I cannot access on some real shit. There's parts of my childhood that I that spending time like with my family, like I could remember being there, 
but I can't remember the details of what happened. <sighs> I actually feel like this is together because I really feel like people been doing a lot of spell work to take away my magnetism. Like, I feel like majority of spell work has been done to have people look at me a certain type of way, to have people not look at me, or when they do, they start to project negativity and shit. The thing is, is that I don't feel like I'm the only one. I feel like people who are like carrying like a certain vibration here on a certain mission and stuff you know, they are targeted. They are targeted. They are targeted. Who was targeting me? Who was targeting me? Which y'all bitch has is y'all crazy. That let me know it was somebody that was at a distance. It's pointing at your, your that Leo dude. I might reshuffle these. Yeah, because it's just too many. But I'm going to remember it was a main female. See if they come out again. And I really think these people was trying to unalive my ass. Who was... See? And these motherfuckers was waiting on something. They had some type of expectation because I think they knew like my spiritual ranking. I think these motherfuckers knew my spiritual ranking before I even did. And yeah, you know, I think they was waiting for something, waiting for something to come in from the shit that they was doing. Who is targeting me? And these motherfuckers knew. You know, because, you know, in the past, like since 2020, people will randomly say like, yo, you're going to be rich. You're going to be wealthy. And I feel that way. It's also in my numerology, is in my Zodiac chart and stuff like that. But I think that these motherfuckers knew before I did. Okay, give me more on this. Yeah, this came out before this children, this child card. Yeah, I think y'all knew this since my childhood, yo. Y'all motherfuckers were sent to me. And then I looked down and seen courtship. Like, I think that that Leo dude, you were sent. Like, you were sent. And 
And you know what? I initiated conversation with you first. You know, on the grand scheme of things, I feel like all of this shit was supposed to happen. Because I think that y'all motherfuckers have been doing certain shit for a long time that it needs to be put a stop to because y'all be fucking up innocent people. Like, I feel like y'all motherfuckers have like a lot of blood on your hands. A lot of it. And I think at one point you might even have money. Like, you know, sleeping on Duce and Gabbana sheets. How the fuck you perform, uh, afford that? You know, he always tried to make, make it seem like he didn't have a lot of money, though. And this motherfucker chose wrong because they could have took a different path. But they chose the path out of their own greed and selfishness because they pathetic. Tell me more. See? What the fuck is going on, yo? What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? Okay. What the fuck is this? These motherfuckers knew I was going to come into money at some point. Oh. And they wanted to change that. So it's. Yeah, they say mature man. Yo, was your dad ever dead? I wonder that. Because he told me that his dad was dead. But, you know, at that time that he was trying to scam me, he claimed that his dad was in the hospital. Now, it was like, I'm sure you wouldn't have forgot that you told me because it was like a whole discussion about his dad, daddy, you know? And it was kind of weird how you told me that, you know, he told me a story about his grandmother dying. And she was in the room and she was already dead. And um, nobody wanted to go in there and like retrieve the body and everything. So they sent him in there. And he was making a sound and they thought that he was laughing. But he said that in actuality, he was crying. Yo, devious, devilish ass might have just been laughing. I wouldn't put it past your ass. I would not put it past your ass. But, you know, it's just weird, you know. It's just weird. Because I feel like this is you. I think this is the Leo dude. But you was in, you was working together with somebody. This mature man. And you know what? I'm starting to think that Leo dude is gay too. I'm thinking that either you gay or you bisexual. You swing both ways. Because at one point he called me. He told somebody. He told me that somebody um took money from him or something like that. Um. And the person had made a comment, like, call him gay or something like that. And I, I remember you telling me that story about that dude that you let touch your dick. And I thought that was weird, even if y'all was drinking, bitch. Even if y'all was drinking. <laughs> With your bitch ass. See, they tried to stop this. Something... They try to stop something from coming to me and they want him to put me in this position. But why? Why they wanted that? And, you know, he was always so surprised that I talked to him first because I think that you were sent. But I talked to you first. And I remember one time talking about it, and he seemed like, yeah. 
I was so like he was so surprised because he came he was coming for me why they want to put me in poverty see 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 it's something about my childhood y'all motherfuckers know something I'm really starting to think like I'm in fucking um what's that shit is uh that Jim Carrey movie where everything was fake everybody around here was actors and shit like that I'm starting to I'm starting to feel like that bitch mm. and y'all wanted to take me off my path so it wasn't you having to because I had got the pathway card in another deck and then I got this and this one say that inability to commit to a path once found wow bitch but why but why though but y'all knew something y'all knew something and I think it's from my childhood motherfuckers around me know shit what the fuck is going on bruh what the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? Like, for real. Yo, I hate y'all motherfuckers. I'm going to tell y'all that now. Like, I don't have an issue with hate. I just feel like it has to be utilized properly. But I don't have no feeling with feeling in it because I hate evil ass motherfuckers. I hate dark, dense ass energy. I hate motherfuckers who do shit like this. I hate your actions. I hate your mentality. And I hate that what you chose to be. Because you did not have to choose to be that. Why? With your bitch ass. I know you watch me. Oh, bitch ass. And I'm going to call you a bitch ass. He get mad every time I call him a bitch ass motherfucker. Matter of fact, you might not get mad. Your dick probably get hard because I'm thinking that you so used to fucking people over that I'm sure somebody going to cuss you out in the worst way possible a lot in your life. And you just don't give a fuck because you just an evil ass motherfucker. See, the saboteur card came out with this monk nun card. This one's in reverse. They trying to stop me from going on the path that I'm going. And I noticed that when you call me, like this motherfucker was trying to talk me out of stop putting work into my channel, saying shit like, well, you already got two strikes and shit like that. You you think you should still be putting work in that? You think you think you're gonna get you think you're gonna um get people to listen to you and shit the motherfucker was hella negative about it but he was slick with it because at one point he would be like oh you so good up in me and shit like that and then he will follow it with a sly ass comment that will make me second guess what i'm doing oh uh, induces self-destructive behavior or the desire to undermine others and i think y'all try to get me to switch sides as well because it's two sides of this selfless devotion and single-minded dedication to spirit that's like the path that i'm on at this point and these motherfuckers really try to stop it and i'm starting to think that it even include my parents mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. 
balancing justice and compassion, managing the fear, distribution of power. Like, this is why I felt like I was put in this position. Because I think that y'all have fucked up so many lives. And then y'all fuck with the right one. Y'all fuck with the right one. I ain't saying that as an excitement or some shit or to even up myself. It's just that I know I'm protected. Mm. Another child card, you know, and separate decks. Actually, in every deck that I have used so far, children card came out look at this look at this i'm gonna show y'all some of them are buried i had this child divine card and every deck that i use child card came out every deck that i use Y'all know something, bruh. What do they know? Let me ask that question. What do they know? Wow, bitch. Every card came out upright. I don't want to speak on that one. Um... I know what they're saying. I know what they're saying. I know what they're saying. Oh, look at this shit. Y'all already knew what I was. But why are they trying to stop it? They already knew what I was. I'm asked, why did they try to stop it? I got healer reverse. They didn't want me to heal people. <laughs> I mean, they didn't want all of this to happen. Liberation. What did they say? Uh, Deliente. I don't know what that is. The lights and the arts without having to be a professional. <laughs> Alerts you to the danger of becoming superficial in your pursuits. Wow, bitch. They already knew what I was. And they knew this shit since childhood. You know, I... I've been having some, like, weird memories about school and stuff. And I even looked it up because it was a real thing that happened. Like, when they used to take us, the students in the classrooms, and they would take us to give us this, like, this drink. Or something that they would have us drinking this little cup it was some type of medicine or something I think it was even like maybe fluoride or something like that and I looked it up one time um 
and other people remember it too it was something that happened but it's a reason why that happened but I also remember other like just uh being in rooms alone with professionals and they running tests on me at school All the child cars came out. All the child cars came out. They've been doing shit since my childhood. Trying to stop this uh, from happening. And they try to stop it through trauma. It's a deck I'm looking for. <laughs> See it? Here it is. Because <sighs> they got to bring your energy low. I don't think they, that, I don't think that they can just take you out, you know? They have to do something with you energetically. Why is this being done to people? Because I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one. And you know, if you are in this position and you feel like you're in this position and you would know because you would um people around you would be weird as fuck they will refuse to understand you they always uh picking at you in order to get you in a vibration of that you mad you angry but they are so uh what's the word um they seem almost like professionals like they've been trained at this because they know how to do it in a way that they put you in a vibration make you look crazy you know how narcs do uh, they will fuck with you, fuck with you. And then when you go off on you, they would utilize that moment to make you look crazy. What is this about? Why is this being done to people? This reminds me, there was a time that I was going through some form of awakening and um, I came across a, uh, 
a sacred geometry, but it was like the first sacred geometry, like the the way that our aura spins out. I can't remember what it's called. Some type of not vortex, but I don't remember. But if you go on my IG, I talk about it. Probably have to go back like a few months. Why is this happening? It is always meant to happen. Like, I feel like there's another side to this. Like, okay, you have the people who are like agents and they are sent at you to put you through these spiritual battles. But it's somebody even over them. And it's more like a experiment for them. They experimenting. That's why they even send these people to try to destroy you. So the people that's trying to destroy you, they might know something about you that you don't know, but they know. Um, but they just doing their part or something. Like, like they doing a job. Mm. Manifesting multidimensional perception and attunement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you have the Nephilim controversial assessing new perspectives. Wow, bitch. That really sums up what the fuck I was just saying. These motherfuckers are putting us through these because they are assessing us in some type of way. Like they might even put you in a situation just to see how you're going to react, how you're going to respond, what you're going to say after you experience it, what your perspective going to be. Oh, you know what? This woman look just like I have an old video. Oh, hell, motherfucking on, bitch. Look, they got the dinosaur. Is this the um the the supposedly the inner earth people? Yo, I have an old video. Um, I think it's called the woman on the beach or something like that. I was channeling with this being that was standing on a beach that looks similar to this. I even put pictures in the video to show you like what I was seeing, like what she was showing me, like where she at. And it looked like this. I got to connect with that being again. But when I was reading that one book, called um the jesus christ book that i was reviewing on here and stuff like that it was one part i didn't put that video up yet i don't even know where's it at at this point but there was one part that it talked about a woman on a beach it's very specific but see when i was talking to this woman she had the body of a woman but she even showed me like where the gen genitalia area is it was nothing there it was flat and she didn't like to be called like a she a gender or something like that didn't want to be called a gender like she or he or something like that I, I think I have to go back and listen to that video I really do I really do I don't really like to listen to like my old videos because I was like very shy back then and whatnot. Because I can't remember, I can't recall like what she was telling me exactly, but I do remember that she was saying something on the line of 
something was coming, something was happening and preparing people for their arrival or something. And uh, she was also saying that um, some people didn't want them to arrive. So before they came, there was going to be like a lot of negativity projected on them. Like they're going to project fear. So people going to fear them. Are they going to try to get people to fear them once they come? And this one, the Nephilim, I'm not really sure who the Nephilim is supposed to be. Is they in the Bible? I think those those giants in the Bible. This came out reverse. You know what? I think I want to just look that up real quick. Uh, something about the Nephilim. Because, you know, this who I feel like they could be and Oz, this could be the both sides of the team one side and this is the other one but this came out reverse though almost like change and keeping things the same And both of these cars mention like this one say new perspectives and this one say multidimensional perception, manifesting multidimensional perception, attunement. The Nephilim are mysterious beings, are people in the Hebrew Bible who are large and strong. The word Nephilim is loosely translated as giants in some translations of Hebrew. Um, they are hybrid sons of fallen angels. That makes so much sense. That makes so much sense. Mm, 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 mm. That makes sense. So I'm thinking that the people who set up shop here, because there was a time that things was different. Um, and then it's like new species or something came. And they create these organizations, the religions that we follow today. Um, this whole hamster wheel that we live in today, that's how they keep us slaves. That's how they keep us slaves. But I'm thinking that we about to be set free. Like something is happening that we are about to be set free. But I believe that what is the intentions of the Nephilims, Nephilims or whatever? What is the intentions of the Nephilims? Mm. they losing whatever this shit is they are not doing good they know their time is about to end and they talking about they willing to promise now because they know they can't stop it and they try they fucking try yo i know what i'm doing 
I'm laying down the bricks on my foundation. I'm following my dreams. And they ain't winning. I feel like the rug has been pulled out from under my feet. I can't seem to find balance. And they fucking knew this shit. Because I now I'm starting to remember my JFK um, video. The government and shit like that, they already knew like this was happening. They already know this stuff. What's the intentions of the Nephilim? That's a lot of cards. I love it when we are in harmony together. You're my person. It's a two of cups. And then after that came, I should have made better plans. I feel hopeless. So they, mm, people are tired of my egotistical nature. I'm finding it hard to be faithful and tell the fucking truth. But I feel like this is like a cover up. This is how they want to try to make it seem. Because now, because this is fitting with the, I'm willing to compromise. Now they want to work with you. Now they want to be on your side. They want to be on your team. Because they feeling like, you know, shit is fucked up now. They feeling like they're not going to be able to fucking win. What is the intentions of the Acrothens? Acrothens? the tower <laughs> bitch wow it came out sideways too and what they coming out sideways okay so whoa i didn't see that coming with a life-changing mo moment they about to shake shit up okay and if i ignore it long enough maybe it will go away so it's sideways though so i feel like um the way that these people can even manifest here it has to be like a vibrational thing because i remember when channeling talking with that person on the beach i believe the reason why they didn't want me to use like certain terminology certain word words is because it would block communication it would because certain things, certain words carry vibrations. And the whole time that it was communicating with me, it was telepathically. Um, I did not see this person or this being mouth move. Okay, what is the intentions of the acro things? Wow, bitch. Okay, I know I've been misleading in the past, but I'm ready to show that I can be trusted. I'm ready to tell the truth. I feel like they is going to uh, reveal a lot of secrets. Ooh. Ooh. I'm feeling on top of the world. Look how far I came. And I also got, I feel like giving up. So this is the seven of pentacles reverse. Let's get more. Hmm. I want more, even if I have to sacrifice my morals, they should apologize to me. I'm not calling. Okay, so what I'm getting from that is that um. Uh, from this, I'm getting it from the perspective of the collective. And when it comes to the word, word morals, I feel like that's more saying that um, the programming, 
that they have us under. We're going to have to break through those programmings because some things that we consider morals is shit that keep us enslaved, shit that we should not continue to give energy to. And we have to be able to change that. Honestly, I'm thinking that we might have to be able to get into that vibration to even see these beings. And with this, it's like they connection with the the um, Nephilims. Now the Nephilims, I feel like there's some type of negotiation going on. Yeah, bitch. There's some type of negotiation happening. And they saying that, no, we don't want to work with y'all. No, we don't want to deal with y'all. No, we're going to fuck your shit up. No, 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 no. It ain't nothing. It's nothing you could say now. It's nothing you could do. Just sit back and let it happen. That's the vibe I'm getting. And they're going to spill the tea of everything. Everything. Ooh, bitch. Why do I have to be the responsible one? I feel weighed down by my burdens. I feel like that's like telling you about the conversation between them. There's some form of negotiation trying to go on right now. But they are high resistance to it. They are high resistance of the ways of the Nephilim. I'm feeling charitable today. I come with gifts. <laughs> that just flew out my hand. Uh, how could you betray me? I trusted you and I'm ready to introduce you to my friends and family. So they fucking coming. They are coming. They are coming. It don't matter what happens. They, they saying that, yo, we coming. and shit that they could do. They are coming. Mm. Philosophy, releasing karma, mysticism. Warrior passion, fearlessness. It's a really intense card. Oh, let me show y'all. You know, I'm coming to the awareness that all these beings that they talk about and they will say stuff like, all these beings are in like a different star system and shit like that. I don't think that that's true. I feel like um, all these beings exist here already. It's just like a dimensional thing. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm starting to understand. That's why that car said multidimensional. Manifesting multi-dimensional perception so these beings like these beings in this deck they are real but they don't exist in another star system they exist here but it's multi-dimensional um what actually made me come to that awareness is um i did a energy healing session last night actually and i this person aura, the way that it was, um, if I did see it before, I don't remember seeing it before, but I'm believing it's the first time I've seen it. But as I was cleaning her, cleansing her energy, 
um i actually want us to i might even get her to come on and we talk about it about what happened in that energy healing session and i did record it um it was really intriguing it was really intriguing and when i was doing it i was hearing crystal being i never heard of that before so after we did the energy healing, we both looked it up and we came across information about the Inigo and the crystal children and stuff like that. She was a crystal being. Her aura looked different. It was really pretty, but uh, I called it like a light show because it was like a white misty color, but you will see uh fragments of different colors going through it and stuff like that really pretty uh I also noticed that it was kind of close to her body her aura was close to her body um and what's so oh what's so interesting about it is that we both didn't know what a crystal being was but when we looked it up and it talked about these crystal beings aura is exactly how I described it to her. They use different words. Like I said, like a light show, because I didn't have the words for it. But it was saying that the crystal being have this um omen, uh luma essence or something or whatever. They called it a different term, but it was when I looked it up, it was the same visual. Hmm. so I was thinking on that I was thinking on that like how these different we all in human bodies but it's different spiritual beings in these bodies and I feel like oh bitch it's making so much sense it's making a lot of sense it's making so much sense wow bitch because like these bodies that we in are like these meat suits we need it in order to exist in this realm like we couldn't without it so it's like you go into space and you have to uh, be in a space suit in order to be able to survive in space right that's the same concept. That's why there are some animated meat suits that don't have souls in it. But there are also some animated meat suits that have like beings from other dimensions in it. Okay, where I'm from. Actually, that's not a good question, but I'm just going to see what come out. the mantis beings and uh the pentagram came out that pentagram makes sense but this one uh the description makes sense enigma elusive sensitive okay give me more insight on my origin Man and black stalking intimidation confrontation. I get what they're saying. Uh, I I came into a lot of information about my origin. I don't really want to talk about it too deep, but um, uh, these motherfuckers do exist too. But you see, like, even in this description, they don't even look like real people. They ain't. Well, you know, they I guess they all real, but inside of their meat suits is not something that is conscious. Not in the same way that other beings are, but we are walking amongst, like, aliens. Because there's people that is from... They would say that it's from different star systems, but that's, they not from different star systems. They like from different dimensions, vibrations, 
um, different soul groups and stuff like that? Let's use these cards. All right, insight on my origin. I don't even know who Commander Ashtar is supposed to be, but this one was funny to me. Chorus. Uh, insight on my origin. <laughs> oh my goodness. Funny. Funny, funny, funny. Isis. Yeah, you see the similarities and the symbols on top of their heads. actually the same people different incarnations tell me about that person i'm thinking about yeah so uriel brunk his ass how that ain't who I was asking about, but Merlin. Hmm. Tell me about that person. Mm -mm, that ain't accurate. I might have to say it out loud. I might have to say it out loud. Hold on. I have to say it out loud. I don't want y'all hear me say the names, but. Uh, so I asked about the person that I put it on pause for and Mary Magdalene come, came out that make fucking sense that makes sense Um, I'm thinking about it in a way a different type of way though Um, so tell me about that Leo person I don't even know his ass would be in here not in this deck because he's just a demon honestly i don't know who this is archangel zachiel transmutation violent flame and mercy that do make sense mm. That shit makes a lot of sense. Not all angels are good people, y'all. Just so you know that. Because, you know, fallen, fallen angels. Uh, To be honest with you, shit, most of them might not even be good people. Like, at least not anymore.
I met a few angels and they could be some really devious, devious motherfuckers. I, I wouldn't say necessarily devious, but selfish, you know. Um <sighs> Some spirits, I want to call it, um, like some people got themselves in a bind. Okay, it's like being trapped in prison, right? And you're not just trapped in prison, but you kind of torture and stuff like that because, you know, uh, these angels could be incarnated into like meat suits, bodies or whatever like that. And people is summoning them. Um, and that will cause like uh, a effect in their lives and stuff like that. So it's like, um, let's say that you went to prison and um, you in the uh, for uh, ten thousand years. You got ten thousand years in prison, and um, while you in the uh, things are hard, you know. At first, like you have that nasty ass food. Uh, you keep getting bullied and beat up and stuff like that and everything is hard so at one point you like you know what I want to make things a little easier for me so you might join a game and stuff and then when you join that game you get certain benefits for joining it but you also have to participate in the gang activity you know in order to have like that cloak of protection of being a part of that system. Um, so it's like that. <laughs> it's like that. And you know, Thinking of it from a broader perspective, you could understand, you could understand because, you know, they could have had went 5,000 years really suffering, um, not folding, staying true to what they needed to stay true to. And then they just couldn't take it no more. So then after they join the game, you know, angels, they are powerful, very smart as well. And they have secret occult knowledge that is very useful to the gang affiliates. At some point, they have the power to take over the game, become the leader of it. Hmm. And that's where things get like really tricky because, you know, once you get a certain amount of power and your ego is being fed, some people don't do well with that, you know, or they take full advantage of it. So let's say that you've been in this game for a while and then at some point you overthrow the leader of that game and you become the leader now the thing is that when you went into that game there was already a system in place 
And the people who was already a part of it was indoctrinated with this system. So now that you're the leader of this gang, you have gained the followers, but the followers are indoctrinated with the system. And they so deeply indoctrinated is that if you try to deviate too far off the path of the already created system that they indoctrinated in, you're going to lose followers. And, you know, they ain't going to want you as a leader anymore. And what are you without your followers? What is a leader without their followers? Right? So then, you know, they will start to like, they might see things differently. They only did this to get the perks of it, but they have to slowly integrate their way of being in order to reprogram the members. Um, the problem is that it's always obstacles on the way, like the perks that you get, you know, you might forget your original mission because you uh is so wrapped up in what you have and you get comfortable so you like you know fuck a mission you know you just playing the game how it always been played you're not trying to change the system you're just trying to maintain it so that you can maintain your benefits Then at some point, um, there might be somebody else that try to overthrow you. It's going to be something, some type of drama, something, some type of hardship, some type of challenge is going to prevent, present itself at some point. And then you're going to have to handle it. But is you going to handle it? how the system already indoctrinated you and the members of how to handle it? Are you going to handle it based off of what you know to be true? Because you know you're an angel. You have certain knowledge. And as they slowly try to uphold this image, uphold this system, they lose themselves within it and then they just become lost. So then when judgment day come, they scared now. <laughs> They're afraid because um, they didn't work on a mission and they want to, that's when you start seeing uh, them in desperation and desperate situations where they just doing what they can to get their wings back they just doing what they can you know because for a long time they was just really in the world that's why they have that saying be in the world but not of it but they will become of it. They will come become a part of it. They will even be in love with it, you know? And being in love with the world is like being in love with your, your desires. And um, so they get taken over by ego and stuff because a lot of them taking over systems and stuff like that is easy for an angel. But the way that the system is, it's a whole lot of traps in it to get you to fuck up yourself. And that's what ends up happening. So you will come across selfish, entitled angels. Uh, some of them, they so bind it in so many contracts from their lifetimes that they can't even... They don't know what to do. Don't know what to do. 
So it's like a, you know, a either or situation. And when I say that I met angels, I'm not just talking about like in this realm. I'm not just talking about here. What is the purpose of all of this? Like, what is the big picture? <laughs> I'm gonna read all of this up, right? So I got consciousness, friendliness, experiencing. <laughs> and thunderbolts and you see the fire in the body here i want to say like a deeper understanding of self But it's really all about the experience. It's like we in a video game that we created through consciousness um, in order to experience things, you know? Like, let's say that you was in a place that nothing really happens because you don't have no awareness, right? Like, how are you going to create something to happen when you don't have no awareness of it? So think of you as a being like that, like you a being and you in a place just like in a void because that's like the only thing that makes sense. Bored as fuck, wanting to know, wanting to experience. But let's say that you like all knowing, like, with you being, the more that you're aware of something, it changes like your whole personality, it changes your whole outlook and stuff. That's why when we incarnate, we forget. Because if we did remember everything, which some people come here and they remember a lot. And those people to us look like really weird ass people. They might even look like geniuses. They might even look autistic. They, uh, but I think that this brain has a limitation. The, the brain that's built into this body has a limitation of how much that it can handle. And I do feel like the bodies are going through an upgrade so that we can like store more information and stuff in it mm. you know our heads might just get bigger and longer that might just happen it might just happen Nah, there was a time that it was already like that, you know, but it's almost like, uh, you know, the first computer was like these giant ass machines, right? But now we have a uh, computer right in our hands that we could take anywhere and travel anywhere. It's real small and handy and shit like that. And is smarter than the original computer the giant one the huge one is smarter than that one and i think that's uh what happened with us 
like it was re-engineered the body and stuff first they needed those big ass brains and then eventually like smaller brains was okay and everything and could handle just as much so now nah, i don't think that we will have to go back to that <laughs> no nah. hmm All right, y'all, I'm finna tap out because I feel like I'm going into a place of starting to feel like indifferent. <laughs> like when you go into that space, like everything is what it is, you know? You have to zoom in and experience in order to start to care enough to participate. Because from a zoom, zoom out perspective, um, it's like um, you being the programmer. Like, let's say that you you making the game, like you making the sounds, you the programmer, you the creator, right? And you are testing the game out, seeing that if it has any bugs or anything like that. And you just paying attention to how smoothly everything runs. But if you was to like witness, like if you was to play the Sims and one of your sims uh was to go through a devastating breakup or something like that and your sim is like really sad and stuff you ain't gonna feel it in the same way you ain't gonna feel sad like that sim feels sad because it's just a game it's just computer it's just operating like it's supposed to you just playing the game that's you being a programmer and you watching this game being played or let's say that you're not even a programmer but you're just playing the game you at the computer desk and you observing the game you're not gonna get so emotionally invested into it that you become depressed just because your sim is depressed but if you was to put yourself in the game and you are the sim, then you're going to feel and experience it a whole lot different. You're going to feel um, that depression because you're going to be the one experiencing it. You're going to be in a different perspective. Now, the gamer is experiencing it too, but they experiencing it from a different standpoint than if they was like the actual sim. So that's like the difference of being zoomed out and zoomed in. <sighs> Stay blessed, y'all.